Welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach. In today's video, we're answering the question of where are Python packages installed when you try and install them? Well, I'm gonna answer that with it depends, right? Because it depends on what operating system you're on um, or if you're using a virtual environment or the system environment. But hopefully I should be able to help answer that. And re regardless of what operating system I'm on, I'm on a Mac, I should be able to help guide you to the direction of where um, those packages get installed. So let's get right into it. So the first way to find out where your or um, Python packages get installed to is first I need to tell you we're looking for the site dash packages folder now that's buried within all the Python installation area and to find out where that area is on your machine um, again like I said it depends like for right now I have a virtual environment activated and so when I'm using this this will give me the location of where all the site or all the packages are getting installed within my virtual environment so the one way that we can find out where all this Python installation area the main root of all that area is is you can simply do something like what you call which and then Python, right? Now, if I do this, when I hit enter, it's gonna, it should tell me, unless there's an alias or something like that, it should tell me or give me a path where this executable file is. Now, in my case, I have an alias. So when I type Python, it just says Python 3. Um, so I can just say which Python 3. And then as you can see, it gives me the path to this virtual environment. But what you'll see is, so where I'm in this YouTube folder directory, which is this whole path here, and then I have the virtual environment folder, and then the bin, and then Python 3. There's the executable, right? So if I go and do something like, um, let's go and copy this line right here and come down here and we'll do CD and I'll give it that. What we'll do is that'll take us into the virtual environment area. Now, if I hit LS, you'll see it'll list out all of the main folders in here. Now, if you're on your route, and I'll show you that here in a minute, we'll do it with virtual environments first, but essentially now we're gonna go into the lib vault folder. So I'm gonna CD lib and I can do LS and you'll see Python 3 and I can go CD Python 3 or 3.9. LS, and then you'll see site packages. This is the folder that we're looking for. This is where everything's going. So I can see CD into site packages, site packages, and I hit LS, and then now you'll see everything I've installed or all the Python things I've done pip install, like numpy, um, date utils, matplotlib, all these different things, right? Um, and I, if I want the complete path to this, I can now just say PWD. This on a Linux and Mac will give, or yeah, well, on Linux and Mac will give you the complete path to the current directory that you're in. So this right here, in my case for this in virtual environment, when I hit pip install, this is where all my packages are going. So what if you're not using a virtual environment? I highly recommend that you do, but what if you're not? Let's talk about that right now. So what if we're not using a virtual environment like I mentioned before, and we wanna get our system location of where it installs these packages? Like I said before, we're still looking for this site packages folder. Now let me go ahead and deactivate or turn off um, this virtual environment, you can see now that I'm out. So if I say, let's just reset and let's repeat that same process, right? Because ideally that's what should work. So if I say which Python, it tells me, oh, it's alias to Python 3 in my case, right? It may not be in yours. So you may get something like that. So on my Mac, if I go to library frameworks, python.framework versions right here, this is the executable. Now, like I said, I went to this location. I backed out to, to not to the bin folder, but I can essentially say, CD right there. Now we're in our 3.9 folder. I can LS that. Oh, there's a lot more information here. So I can say, but again, we still went into the lib folder. And then from the lib folder, we went into the Python. We have the Python.39 folder. And in your case, maybe it's Python 3.10 or Python 3.11 or whatever the future version is or whatever a previous version was, right? But if I CD into that, now if I list all this, whoa, there's a lot more in this one because it's my system one than my virtual environment. But again, Again, we're looking for the site packages. So I can say reset this and then I can say CD into site.packages. So if I tab complete the terminal, we see that it's there. Now if I LS, you'll see that here is all the system installed, at least on my machine, of the, this is the location. So again, I can go and I can say reset, give everyone a better picture here. And I can say PWD. And this is the complete version of, if I just were to type pip install whatever package right here on my Mac, this is where it'll install it is in this folder right here. So I hope you found this helpful. Again, this should also work on Linux. Um, you may not have the ability to say which unless you get like a terminal like git bash or something like that where it kind of gives you some Linux like or Unix like commands that you can use because um, it's been a minute since I've done used or tried which on Windows. So yeah, um, but the same type of thing should apply. If you can find the location of that that binary executable using that which command um, and then go back to your which we, we started right here and then we go into our lib. This is basically the root install of the current version that we have. So 3.9 and we go into our 
lib, Python, whatever version you have. So 3.9, 3.8, 3.7, 3.10, whatever. And then into our site packages. That's where everything's being installed. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments below. And until next time, keep on programming.